Let's go up to cleanse the holy place, and to dedicate it afresh. And all the army was gathered together, and they went up to Mount Zion, and they saw the sanctuary laid desolate, and the altar profaned, and the gates bent up, and shrubs growing in the courts, as in a forest, or as on one of the mountains. And the priest's chambers pulled down, and they tore their clothes and made great lamentation, and put ashes upon their heads, and fell on their faces to the ground, and blew with the solemn trumpets, and cried toward heaven. Then Judas appointed certain men to fight against those that were in the citadel, until he should have cleansed the holy place. And he chose blameless priests, such as had pleasure in the law, and they cleansed the holy place, and bare out of the stones of defilement into an unclean place. And they took counsel concerning the altar of burnt offerings, which had been profaned, what they should do with it. And there came into their mind a good counsel, that they should pull it down, lest it should be a reproach to them, because the Gentiles had defiled it, and they pulled down the altar, and laid up the stones in the mountain, and the house in a convenient place, until there should come a prophet to give an answer concerning them. And they took whole stones according to the law, and built a new altar, after the fashion of the former, and they built the holy place, and the inner parts of the house, and they hallowed the courts, and they made the holy vessels new, and they brought the candlestick, and the altar burnt offerings, and of incense, and the table into the temple, and they burnt incense upon the altar, and they lighted the lamps that were upon the candlestick, and they gave light in the temple, and they ate low, and they set loaves upon the table and spread out the veils, and finished all the works which they made. And they rose early in the morning, on the five and twentieth day of the ninth month, which is the month Kislev, in the hundred and forty and eighth year, and offered sacrifice according to the law upon the new altar of burnt offerings, which they had made. At what time and on what day the Gentiles had profaned it, even on that day was it dedicated afresh, with songs and harps and lutes and with cymbals, and all the people fell upon their faces and worshipped, and gave praise to heaven, which had given them good success. And they kept the dedication of the altar eight days, and offered burnt offerings with gladness, and sacrificed the sacrifice of deliverance and praise. And they decked the forefront of the temple with crowns of gold and small shields, and dedicated afresh the gates and the priests' chambers, and made doors for them. And there was exceedingly great gladness among the people, and the reproach of the Gentiles was turned away. And Judas and his kindred, and the whole congregation of Israel ordained, that the days of the dedication of the altar should be kept in their seasons from year to year, by the space of eight days, from the five and twentieth day of the month, Kislev, with gladness and joy. And at that season they built up the Mount Zion, with high walls and strong towers round about, lest perhaps the Gentiles shall come and tread them down as they had done aforetime. And they set their affords to keep it, and they fortified Basura to keep it, that the people might have a stronghold near Odomia.